Welcome to the Chilton Project. Today, we're installing this wireless control for the dump trailer. Come on. Welcome to the Chilton Project. Project, not show. So today, I about forgot to bring y'all along and as you can see, I've already started. <clears throat> this is a Badlands remote control winch, uh, yeah, winch controller. So theoretically, you got a solenoid in here that runs the uh, hydraulic pump. And on a winch, it's usually a solenoid that runs it. So I seen a couple videos online, and then the one that I uh, went back to, he actually had different wires inside of this. It was the same exact setup. I don't know. I, it's a, the, the Badlands winch from Harbor Freight. Uh, it's got a plug. It does not plug into that. It probably plugs into the Badlands winch. So right here, already what I've done is I got on the test bench. <clears throat> And I've, black is usually ground, so I went ahead and assumed that was ground. And it took my hot and touched to blue, which is a lot of times key. I touched it to the blue, nothing happened. I touched it to the yellow, hit the button on these, and these two wires sent juice through it. So now I've soldered. Now I know what my hot and my ground was. I went ahead and soldered red and black. This will go to the battery. Now I just got to figure out in my box here which one part of the solenoid needs to go hot to let it up and let it down so that way i know which button to push and it'll go up and it'll go down that way i can put this on a lanyard i can put it in my pocket i can do whatever i can keep it in the truck and hit the button and dump it, it it'll it'll be a lot easier but i'm not going to eliminate the manual controller i'm not going to eliminate it because in case this were to fail batteries dial what have you i could still at least use a dump trailer so so let's figure that out. Find this out, I'm gonna use a test slot. If you don't have a test slot, buy a test slot. They are worth a million dollars in a shop. So real simple, you touch one side to the ground, another side to the hot, and it lights up. <clears throat> so by putting this side, the clamp to the ground, I'm looking for a hot. All right, but I can switch these and put this to the ground and be looking for a ground somewhere. See, I'm touching it to the frame here. And it's lighting up so i'm looking for a ground if that's hooked to the positive so these should be hot and let's see that's consistently hot all right all right so that's this is straight from the battery so this one right here is probably my relay see that so that's up uh now this other switch down here i think is my release and should be coming go so hit down see that light, lights up so i know now i need to tap into this green wire for down and then just put a bolt right here <coughs> or put an island right there with my new wire so that will be up that one's down green and red so by uh, doing what i just did with the test light on this i hit the up button and that lit up that runs the pump runs it up now, and then i unplug this green wire down here i don't have a power down i, have, I just have a valve so this is a valve So I put the test slide inside of here and hit the down button and it lit up. Hopefully all that makes sense. I had four wires in here. One was hot, which was yellow with a green stripe and then one was black was ground. So these will run to the battery, simple enough. Now I can't remember which one of these I decided was up and which was down. So I'll figure that out once I hook it up. I'll go ahead and hook this up to the battery and then I can test it real quick and make sure one of which one's hot and uh, on each button. One of these wires will correspond with these buttons now. So it, 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 the controller tells this to send the hot through this wire or this wire, depending on which button I'm, I'm shooting out. So let's go ahead and get some ends put on this stuff. Probably should pause that because I'll get copyright. So we'll strip those back just a little bit. I like to go ahead and crimp them and then solder them. So kind of holds it in place for me.
So I've yet to figure out where this thing's mounting. It'll probably just sit in here to be honest with you. So. So now, again, I've got this hooked to the ground. So I'll look it up. I think blue is up. It's not. That ain't good. Oh, it's just a bad connection. Woo, that got me scared there for a second. So right there is up, blue is up, blue is sky, brown is earth. See if I hit up, nothing happens. So, uh, that default, I should be able to just touch it to that and it should run it up and then I can touch that one to that side that works so blue, is, blue is up brown is down blue is sky yeah, so let's solder some wires into this. Let's try to button that up, and then we'll try to get it cleaned up. So I've got a short bit of wire, and then to go on this, and then some solder, because I'm going to cut that green wire and solder these back together. So. the torch the crack torch and then a sheath over top of all of it if you can it's that double insulation you know you gotta think it's a trash gonna be bouncing around an awful lot so so this one gets the end that I will solder on too And then this lovely wire is going to get snipped, stripped, and chipped. I don't know what I'm saying there, but... Oh! Brand new tray of cut wires and stuff. Oh, make sure you put heat shrink on it. Throw the weld to it. Oh no, I've messed up. <laughs> I have messed up. It's okay. It will be okay. I hate to do it, but it's probably going to get electrical tape. Alright. Put the hot back on this side. So my new up goes to there. That side. And then I soldered this the down, which is the ground, into the wire that's going to go to the plug back here. So. I just need to figure out how to shield that. I could cut that off and redo that, but... Eh, crap. Eh, probably just electrical tape. I hate doing electrical tape. But there's nothing wrong with it. It's better than nothing. If you can't tape it, what can you do? I was going to say that was a duct tape joke, but, you know, if you can't duck it, grab electrical tape. Yeah, I should probably cut that off and redo it, but I really don't feel like it. That's probably going to bother me until I fix it, so... Alright, let's plug it in and test it out, shall we? Tighten this bolt up. So that controller still works. That's pretty cool. I wonder how far it'll go. Or, better yet, you know, what a Faraday cage is. Maybe I should uh, close this box up. Because, you know, 
know if you can hear that or not. Chickens, cluck, cluck. So I'm like, hey, you need to be raised up some. All right, there it is. It's currently coming down. Like I said, I don't have power down, so that's wired up. It seems to be working pretty good. I can leave this in the box or leave it in the truck and be able to uh, not get out of the truck as much and not have to worry about running that cable. Like I said, I'll keep that cable somewhere. Or I'll keep it right there, most likely. But Yeah, it's as easy as that. Got any questions, uh, leave me a comment. And... Uh, <clears throat> Maybe later on after I use this a little while, I'll give you a, a review, if you will, on how it's working. So, I heard a little bit of a stutter twice so far. And so that might have been something, but let's see. Seems to be working fine, so. Well, that's it, folks. So, I appreciate y'all watching the Chimpin' Project, and I'll catch you on the next one. God bless.